All right, y'all, here's the deal. I finally have some semblance of energy. So I'm gonna do a project today that I have been, oh, it's, uh, it's Friday, by the way. Friday after Good Friday, I am going to finally let my cat out of the kitchen. Come on, bud. Let's go. And now he wants back in. I'm gonna paint the ceilings. Finally, it's about time. I have painted this room, this living room, 50 shades of green. So many shades of green, and you can see the remnants of that green all over. Um, the ceiling has a bunch of cracks and a bunch of webs and a bunch of uh, just little smudges you can see over here, some smudges and things. So I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get all the way down the hallway today. So I'm just going to, uh, try and tackle the ceiling in the living room. So I, uh, if you've heard anything that I want to do with this house, I do want hardwood floors eventually all throughout, um, on top of the concrete. But before I do the floors, I really want to paint everything else. So today, I want to get the living room ceiling painted. And I'm not going to do it this white color right here because I think that's a little bit too bright. It's called white cotton. Um, I want to go with the kitchen color. The kitchen color on the walls is called um, Greek Villa Sherwin-Williams. Show you a little closer. You can kind of see right here a little bit of the difference between white cotton and Greek Villa. Um, it's a little bit creamier and it's like a chameleon color. Like with the, when the sun hits it different ways, it can look more pink or more blue, uh, which I really love about it. And I think it looks really pretty uh, paired with the white cotton color. So I hope I have enough of that left to use on the ceiling in the rest of the house. And I'm also going to want to use it on the ceiling in here eventually because obviously I have to do that in here. So here is the goal. The goal is to paint the whole ceiling. Um, I'm not going to um, tape around the metal because paint comes off metal really easily. So I'm going to paint the whole ceiling, wipe off the little, um, what are they called? Recess lights. Take these bulbs out and get six Edison bulbs for these six lights in here. And I want to go to Lowe's and get some trim for the top. Um, and also maybe even uh, tackle that, sawing that off. The reason I haven't messed with that at all, one, I'm, I'm really tired when I get off work, and two, there's still electrical coming from that, uh, that side. So I have a saw, one of my friends let me borrow a saw to kind of clean up these edges on my own, and I might call the electrical company today to see if they can come by and fix that so I can go ahead and get that case opening finished. I'm gonna put my paint clothes on and start moving things out of the way. I don't want any paint getting on them. stash of things and then another stash of things and then the empty living room no rug no furniture except for a couple things um, and I will take the curtains down just to be extra safe <laughs> I need a screen door on the front of my house because look at the light with the door wide open. Oh my goodness, it's just so pretty.
right, I just finished the first coat, and I haven't um, gone around the little uh, lights yet, and I decided to paint that. So I am going to paint that little thingy, the uh, thingy, the uh, AC vent, um, and I haven't done the brush around the edges yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first coat of uh, the brush, and see what it looks like after the first coat. I know I'm going to have to do two, so... Yep, time to paint with the paintbrush. Everything has one coat of paint now. You can kind of see where it stops. Um, but I can't really see the impact quite yet. Just a little bit. I think once I get the second coat and especially the, the dark trim, I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go get it when I'm done with the second coat. But I think that trim and the second coat of white paint will really make it come together. All right, I'm done with my second coat. It's still drying, so I'm not quite sure if it's gonna need a third coat or not, but we will see. I'm about to, I do have a lot of paint spots. Uh, hopefully the molding will cover up the ones at the top because the living room is a custom color that I mixed myself, so I don't really have a lot left over to paint over mistakes, so hopefully, um, I have enough left over to paint over mistakes. So uh, here's how the ceiling is looking right now. It looks a lot better. It looks a whole, whole lot better. And I'm excited to get the Edison bulbs in here, see how those light up the space and to get the trim. Um, I'm gonna need about 39 feet for the living room. Um, I measured almost 38, but I wanna just add an extra foot in there just to be sure. All right, here are the light bulbs I ended up getting. I got six of them because there are six uh, recessed lights in the living room and the hallway. So I'm just going to put these in the living room. And um, if I don't like them, I'll take them out and put them back in the box and take them back because they were pretty expensive. They passed the test. I really like the, the kind of light that they make in here. So pretty. Can't look directly at them because my eyes burn because I did that right when I uh, put one of them in. But they look pretty with the lights on. And they also look cute with the lights off, which is what I wanted. I didn't want an ugly one. So there were like Walmart brand um, open clear bulbs like that. But they had a big old stamp with a bunch of words on it on them. So I didn't want that. So I like these. I think it is worth the money that I spent on them. So over here, I have the trim that I got. Let me turn the lights on. I have the trim that I got and I am gonna stain them. I'm gonna stain them in here because I want to make sure that I'm getting the right kind of color. Here are the two uh, stains that I'm gonna choose from. Uh, so what's this one called? Where's the color? Oh, here. Special Walnut and Espresso. I'm gonna try both of them on the back side of one just to see which one I like the best. I feel like I need to mix them together. I think if I mix them together, it would be the perfect blend. Okay, that's nice, right there. That's what I'm going with. I think I'm gonna take these outside to do them. Okay. I am so tired. 
but I finished and it is my this house this building is very very unlevel I used the level the whole time that I was putting the trim up and the roof is just so wavy and uneven over here on this side um, it slants this way uh, you can kind of tell slightly it actually kind of bows down and then back up a little bit um, because this the ceiling on this side of that wall is a lot lower down than the ceiling on this side so yeah um, that is pretty even over there is pretty even on this side um, I got it straight but there's a gap up at the top um, and that's level and I wanted the ceiling to be level especially since you're going to really be able to tell with the straight line of the case opening and then the straight line of the ceiling I wanted it to be an even space right there so I didn't put the um, trim flush with the ceiling because then it would have been at the diagonal so I'm going to have to come and fill that in with caulk but I am done with this project for today I'm so happy with it um, it is a very <laughs> it is a very raggedly done project because I cut all of the trim with the little my um, little miter box and it's really <laughs> it's really rough it's rough around the edges but um, it looks so much prettier than it did before so I'm gonna sweep and clean everything up and put my furniture back and then show you how it looks okay I am done and my breathing is very labored. It's a lot of dust and cat hair and everything. But I uh, I clean just a little bit. I wipe that down. I wipe this down. I didn't clean everything in my bookcase or that little table or uh, on top of this little fireplace. But I cleaned everything else up. Hey, bud. And here is how the ceiling and the trim looks and there's that side over there I'm really excited to get this done it looks so much better um, and I do I've decided that I do want hardwood floors I don't want to keep the cement floors so that will be next in the living room uh, will be the hardwood floors but I love the um, the trim at the top I think it's so pretty let me turn the lights off. Nice and cozy. I do need to touch up the paint on the door. Because I didn't tape the door when I painted the trim. There she is. And my Christmas lights from over there went out. So I don't have any light over there right now. But there it is. Project complete for the day. And it is 5.16. And I've been working on this all day long. So... I'm about ready to rest a little bit, and maybe tomorrow I will do the hallway if I'm feeling up to it. We will see. But that is it for this video. I will see you all in the next one if you watch the next one. Bye.